assumed that a bullet's path of flight is in a straight line. Where you aim is where the bullet should hit. If only it were that simple. The ballistics of a bullet, once the firing pin strikes the primer, consists of three components. Internal, external, and terminal ballistics. Understanding how guns are manufactured to take on these forces will provide shooters with insight to the bullet's trajectory. Veteran Air Force sniper and long-range expert George Rhinus helps us demonstrate. As soon as the bullet leaves the barrel, gravity, drag, and wind force start acting on the projectile. Most sights on a gun are above the bore of the gun, and the sight must be aligned at a certain point known as zero. To achieve this, the barrel of the gun must be pointed upward so that the path of the bullet meets the crosshairs at a given distance. The bullet will then rise above the line of sight, creating the shape of a half circle as it meets the same impact point at a farther distance. This is known as bullet trajectory. After reaching the second zeroing point, gravity pulls the bullet from the line of sight. The rate at which a bullet drops over distance is caused by gravity and is a function of bullet speed. Given a specific distance, the higher the bullet speed, the less time it is subjected to the effect of gravity and the less it drops. However, bullet speed is not a constant and can start to decrease as soon as the bullet leaves the muzzle due to drag. Gravity isn't the only thing affecting a bullet in flight. Drag, air resistance, and wind deflection are all factors in slowing down or pushing a bullet away from its target. Drag is determined by bullet speed, ballistic coefficient, and air density. It also increases when bullet speed relative to air increases. When a bullet's ballistic coefficient is high, it is more efficient against drag. Finally, a factor known as wind deflection can play a critical factor on bullet trajectory. Wind will affect the vertical or horizontal component of the trajectory by causing deviation of the bullet's flight path. When the wind blows against a mountain, hill, or tall building, it generates a vertical component. Vertical wind can blow up or down, and the bullet will be deflected in that same direction. Because of these factors, long-range shooting can be extremely difficult to be precise. Understanding your environment and taking gravity, drag, and wind into account, you can be a successful long-range shooter. For Firearm Science, I'm Jesse Duff. See you next time.